Hey superstars, I'm Sue and welcome to my channel, Reviews with Sue. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you as always for coming back and supporting my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Sue, how do you do? And if you like what you see, I really wish you would consider hitting that subscribe button. So, would you like to know what today's unboxing is all about? Well, I'm really excited as always because it's the DIY Nail Shack. And if you wanna know what's inside this package, and what some maybe sneak peeks are for next month and there might be a giveaway involved so if you want to know all that good stuff then just keep on watching doing reviews just like i do hanging out with your friend sue it's sue. here i is and i have the diy nail shack in my hand i do and i am super excited because there is going to be a giveaway in this video so make sure that you watch the video all the way through please so you will know just how to enter the giveaway and what you might need to say in the giveaway so this is a D diy nail shack it was sent to me for review from deanna so thank you again deanna for sending me this i have been absolutely loving this now, if you are not familiar with DIY Nail Shack, what it is, it is a monthly subscription. It's gonna contain four nail strips or four packages of nail strips, a cuticle pusher, as well as a nail file. It's $12.95. I do have a discount code and it is SUE20 and that'll give you 20% off your first package, not subscription, but your first pack and try it out, see how you like it. If you like it, then sign up for the subscription. And you do fill out a little bit of a profile, basically just kind of asking, asking you your um, color choices. Now, on Instagram, Deanna, the owner, has a DIY nail shack over there. So you can follow her over there. And what she does is she sends sneak peeks throughout the month prior to her shipping the packages out to whoever subscribes to this. And what's really neat is you can kind of give a little bit of a preference, sort of. So she'll show you a few different nail strips. And if you want that in your package, you can say, yes, I love this. Can I please get this next month? And she will do her best to try to accommodate everyone. She can't always do it, but she does a pretty good job from what I understand. So they also have um, DIY Nail Shake also offers um, kids subscriptions. It's $9.95 for that. And if you use a separate, I believe, um, like email address, if you're signing up for both, you can also use my discount code SUE20 and get 20% off your child's first one. So they're just little itty bitty nails. Um, they also have nail toe strips. <laughs> so it's basically nail polish for your hands, for your toes, for whatever you want to use it for. But I have been absolutely loving this. Now, I will not lie. Yes, I peeked into my bag already because I already did my nails. So let me show you them. So I gotta figure out how to do this. So, okay, these are the nail strips that I received this month for October. Tell me those aren't darling. So let's see, am I getting a good look at it there? There's like a haunted house, there's a witch. And then if you look over here, we have some pumpkins with a cross on it. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you, this is my uh, makeup brush holder, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what they look like once they're on. Um, so when you open up your subscription, it did come in this cute little bag like so. And when you open it up, it always, like I said, comes with four nail strips, packages of nail strips, of course. It has directions on how to apply them, which I'll give you a really quick mini lesson. And then you will receive your um, your package, which is the one I kind of broke into already. So like I said, there is gonna be a giveaway because Deanna was so generous. She sent me extras and Deanna, this is so awesome. And I'm sure all my subscribers are absolutely loving this as much as I do because I just love it. So now I did notice that um, Deanna may have forgotten to give me the, the cuticle pusher in the nail file. So I went and got one of my spare ones that I have that I have not used. So when I do have the giveaway, it will come with this, which is brand new. And this is the cuticle pusher there. And then you have like a little thing here where you can kind of like push back your cuticles with. And then I do have a nail file. I know the ones that other people received in their packages for this month, um, I believe they were like an orange colored one. I'm not sure what color the cuticle pusher was, but I did have these in my um, baggie of extra stuff that I have not used yet. So I'm gonna make sure that's clear. And then I'm gonna show you all the ones that she sent to me for October. You guys, these are just so fun because, okay, you get four strips. Mine usually last at least two weeks. What I do is, okay, so first, directions. So 
These are the directions that come with it. They are very simple step-by-step -step instructions, as you can see here. And the nail strips, so let me show you one that's not cut into yet. Okay, so this is one of the strips for this month. So you can see that there is very cool. It's kind of like bloody and red looking. So I like that it's a very, it's more dark where this one is more, you know, kind of orangey and more, a little more fun, I guess you could say. Not more fun, just, it's just something I decided to pick out, okay? So these are the strips. What you do is you are going to just kind of measure up what finger it would go to. So like this one here is a thumb for me. So my thumb would fit here. So I cut this off. There's a little plastic layer. I rip that off. I stick the little nail strip on my nail. I press down on it. I use the cuticle pusher right here to kind of smooth it all out. And then you just take your nail file and you just kind of buff out the edges there and it just kind of bends right off and peels off. Basically, that's it. I do use um, rubbing alcohol on the bottom of my nails after I take you know old stuff off. I use rubbing alcohol to just kind of clean off if there's anything residue or anything left on your nails. And then after I put the strips on, what I usually do is I take clear nail polish. I do like one or two coats. And if you wait like every two or three days and put another clear coat, it'll make your nails last longer or the strips last longer. You shouldn't put them in water for the first 30 minutes. I usually pretty much, <laughs> I try not to put my hands in water ever. No, I'm just kidding. But you try not to put your hands in water for the first 30 minutes because you want that, um, the glue kind of like that's the sticker part to adhere to your nail itself. So that's pretty much the basics of the nails and how they work. And, and like I said, Deanna also has a demo on her channel. She has a YouTube channel. She doesn't do a lot of posting on there. She might show occasionally a sneak peek or something on there, but um, she has step-by-step -step instructions, which you, you can watch that, and it's a great tutorial. So I wanna show you the ones that came in the October. So you might be getting these. So here is that, like I said, that first one there. So sorry if there's a glare, it's just that it's in a silver packaging. Oh, and the other thing too is, so this is like the set that I chopped up and used. So you still have leftovers. So I will keep these and make sure that when you cut the packages open that you put them in a Ziploc bag or in, in a seal tight type of container because once the air gets to these, they can kind of like dry out somewhat. So if you wanna like save it for next year, then you can do that. And like I have just a couple scraps here. I do usually sh share my smaller ones with my one friend because she has smaller nails and so she'll just do like an accent. And then um, like the other ones, like I have this one that would still fit me for next year. I could just um, use that as an accent color, which I did earlier this month. I don't know if you saw any of my other previous videos, but I did have like all, what I have on? Like almost like a black glittery, actually it was like a deep navy blue black glittery color. And then I just had one nail that was done. So there's that. So here is another one that we received for October. That is so pretty. I really, really like that one there. So let me hear. Okay, and then we have this one here. It's like fire. And I like this one because you could use it for Halloween or you can actually just flip the end and use this side and you could just use the glitter red for like Christmas. So you've got basically two seasons in one. Then we have this one that has all the little candy corns on there. I love that one, it is so adorable. I believe this is the set that I might have used um, for my accent color the last couple videos that I did. All right, and then here is a, another one here, which is super cute. You have a lot of different ones. I wanna say this one, some of these actually glow in the dark. So if you check her video out that she did, um, Deanna, on her website, DIY Nail Shack on YouTube, it shows you which ones of these were um, glow in the dark because I can't remember off the top of my head. So, oh, those are so cute. And then this one here is just like a whole bunch of little baby pumpkins. Loving it, loving it. Cute, cute. And then this one is like some, I'm not sure if this is gold or silver. My lighting's not real good here. And then black, so those are very cool looking. And then we have these ones. I'm pretty sure these ones did glow in the dark. I think this is the set that I gave to, um, Tiffany at Tiffany wears t-shirts and she's been using them for her or she's been wearing them actually on her Halloween extravaganza so if you haven't checked that out I know she has some awesome giveaways going on so you may want to check that out and then I also gave her these skulls here and these also glowed in the dark and she was like all about this glow in the dark she just said they were fun so yeah so those were all the uh, ones that I received for November, or excuse me, this is for October. Tell me that isn't crazy. Thank you again, Deanna, 
so much. So there's that. Okay, then she did. She says November sneak peeks and she drew this little picture for me and it's got a little guy peeking over the wall. Look at the little nose here. I can remember drawing these when I was in grade school too and it's just, it just brings back a lot of memories when I see that. So this was in a different color envelope and then, oh my gosh, I am just like ecstatic. Okay, so here is the first pattern. So these are gonna be some items that you, if you are interested in signing up for this, keep an eye out over the next month because these are the ones that are gonna be in for November. So we have this right here, which is Christmassy there. Oh, wait, let me go. Let's see here. It looks like we've got reindeers. So you can see the little reindeers and plaid. So you can use an accent. You can use them all. You can miss them, mix and match. You can use them any way you choose. So there's that one. And this I love because I love snowflakes. I love the blues. I, love, I just love this one. Totally love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, then we have here... Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one says Merry Christmas on there. You got a snowman. You got a little reindeer. You got a gold accent. So lots of cute ones there. And then this one's really pretty too. I love it. It's got all the Christmas colors there with some glitter. Aren't these adorable? I love these. Okay, then you've got... Uh, oh, it's Turkey Day. So we've got Thanksgiving there. So tell me that's not cute. Oh, and then we got some snowman. Oh, you guys, this is, these are just all so cute. Tell me, pause the video. Are you liking these sneak peeks, are you? Okay, then we have here, oh, I don't, I can't even tell what this one is without my glasses on. So here it looks kind of like, almost like little stockings almost. And it's got little trees on there and, and little candles. So there's that one. And then the last one here that she sent me are more snowflakes. So we've got some red snowflakes. We got a little tree. We got a little reindeer. We got little polka dots. This is adorable. I'm telling you, it is adorable. All right, I just realized I completely forgot to read the card that she included with this package because I was so darn excited to show you guys all the nail strips. So it just says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. I hope you enjoy, have a safe and fun Halloween. Thanks so much, Deanna. And then this is the little card here that she sent with the little cat inside the pumpkin. So we have that little card that also did come included. And now what you've all been waiting for is to hear about what is included in this giveaway. So the items that I shall be including is this beautiful purple cuticle pusher brand new that was sealed in a Ziploc bag by myself. And you will also get this beautiful bedazzled sparkly, hot, pink looking nail file and black on the other side, which is brand new, never been used. It was given to me by DIY Nail Shack previously, and now I am sharing it with you, along with the nail polish strips that I have chosen. So this is a bunch of little pumpkins. So this I know won't be good probably till next year, but if you wanted to use this as a an experimental package, you could do that, or you could just save them till next year. And then the other um, Halloween or fall one we have here is this one right here. So it has that scary ghost. It's got the mummy on there. It's got some bats. And remember too, you could always just go and use like just these two and use like black nail polish and put these strips on and you could just use them as an accent as well as you could always just take the green and use that for like an accent if you wanted to. So it doesn't mean that you have to use all the strips at one time. So even though we are, um, these are for Halloween, you could still use them other times than just Halloween, if that makes sense. All right, so now we are going to move on to some other fun ones. So this is a Christmas one here. This one's got a little reindeer, it's got some Christmas lights. I see a, what do I see? I see a Merry Christmas. I see Santa. So there is that one. And then I thought this one would be fun for the holidays as well. And you just got some plaid here. You've got some nice sparkles. You've got a reindeer. So that is cute. And then I also have this one here. I don't know if these are really supposed to be like stockings, but it just kind of reminds me of a stocking because it's like white on top. And then you've got some holly on some of these. It looks like you've got some flowers on them. And if you didn't want to use that portion, you could always just cut it and you could use the bottom end of it. 
and then that way you could um, you know just use red solid if you wanted to and then just use a couple of these top portions for the accents does that make sense so it's kind of nice that you can kind of mix and match these so these are the five strips that is going to be included as well as the cuticle pusher and the little nail file so now the giveaway rules they are going to be First rule number one is you have to be 18 years of age or have a parent's permission. You have to have a mailing address that is in the United States. You do have to be subscribed to my channel, please, because when I do these giveaways, they are for the people that subscribe to my channel, that have been following me, that have been um, helping me along this whole journey I've been going through because I have been having a blast and some have been with me almost from the very, very beginning. Uh, a thumbs up would be awesome and leave a comment. And in that comment, you are going to use the word Deanna. It is D-E-A-N-N-A. -N -N I'm gonna leave it across the screen as well because Deanna is the one that sent me these nail strips that I could um, share with you and I'm very happy to do so. So I just think it'd be really nice if you could somehow incorporate in a word or in a sentence or something the word Deanna. And if you could also leave your Instagram or your um, email address in your comment that would be awesome it's only one entry per person you can comment as much as you want however it will filter duplicate um, words when I type in that word Deanna with the random comment picker it is going to end on November 10th and I will choose a winner on November 11th and I don't know what time I'll be choosing that winner but as long as you are entered in the giveaway prior to the time that I draw you will be in it Let's see here, um, like I said, one entry per person. YouTube has no affiliation with this giveaway whatsoever. Actually, these items were gifted, gifted to me and then I am gifting them to, some of, to one of you lucky winners. And once I mail this package, I have no control over the US Postal Service, so I will give the winner a tracking number. And um, once that package goes, if anything happens to it, I'm not able to duplicate it because I don't have any duplicates to duplicate it with. Could I say duplicate one more time? I probably could, but I won't. So, yes, those are all the rules. If I did forget anything, I will leave that in the description box below, as well as the link that'll take you to the DIY Nail Shook if you have any interest in signing up. And again, don't forget, use my code. It is SUE20, and that will give you 20% off your first package. It doesn't go towards like three, six, or 12 months, and I know if you do sign up for a longer term, that $12.95 $12 is cheaper. But I always say, try it with the 20% first, see how you like it one month, and if you love it, then just sign up for the th three, six, or 12 months. It's an awesome deal. Check out her website, she's got some other things there. And um, yeah, did I rattle enough for you guys? I'm sorry if you made it to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I have any current giveaways going on, I will leave that down below in that description box as well because you guys know I always try to have them. And if you could too, tell me what your favorite one was out of all of these different strips I showed. Which one is your favorite? So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for putting up with me. I know I rattle, I don't mean to, it just, it just happens and that's just my personality, peeps. So I is sigh. Be safe, be well, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.